Hey guys, how you doing? This is EJ Uno coming back again with another great video. I'm going to be sitting on, I think, this side of the camera right here because I'm going to have some pictures going up there. This time, I'm not really going to be talking about none of these action figures. Actually, you know what? <laughs> Before I get into the, the, the toy news, I definitely wanted to talk about they have the Obi-Wan Kenobi Star Wars figurines hitting the shelves at Target. I got my hands on uh reva which i think she is really cool i didn't know these were at, coming out right now and i got my man dark vader right there which i, I probably get i don't know how many dark vader figurines i got in in like three inch and quarter but i i'm literally can't get enough of you know what i'm saying like getting dark vader i think this is really really awesome though really cool so i end up getting um him on the back of it, let me see. So I got her, I got Raven, I got uh, Darth Vader, and um, I think that's all right there. Oh, no, and I, then I got the uh, Mandalorian Super Commando. Yeah, Commando. Okay, so um, I'm missing these. I'm missing him, him, and uh, uh, Anakin Skywalker, and Obi-Wan Kenobi. So I'm missing those two. And I really don't care about him, but I think I'm going to get him anyway. So, uh, yeah, I end up getting these two. And then with the Magdalorian Super Commando, whatever. So, I end up getting him too. So, that's really awesome right there. And I didn't even know I was in Target. Didn't even know these were, like, out right now. Because, you know, I just did, like, a video on them. And I, I didn't think they were supposed to come out for a while. But I ended up getting them, so it was awesome, though. So, I thought that was really cool. So I was like, okay, that's what's up. But anyway, on that being said, let's talk about some toy news. Okay, first of all, I up, I stashed some pictures. I, fa I found this on Facebook right here. Now I usually now I used to collect like storm coll uh, storm um, collectible figurines, the Mortal Kombat ones and Tekken and and Street Fighter, which were really cool figurines. They're they are expensive figurines. One figurine is a hundred dollars almost i mean let, well let's just say it's 85 dollars when you end up paying shipping and handling or whatever you end up coming out paying like 90 some dollars so i couldn't i couldn't keep up the collection it was it was too much it was it was it's a it's expensive collection so anyway but it doesn't stop me from bragging about like how good the figurine looks so anyway guys um i end up seeing king on uh they got King coming out finally from uh, Storm Collectibles, and this looks awesome. Looks awesome. I, I'm seeing him. He looks just like the Tekken Seven um, um, animate. Uh, the when you picking characters on it, all that. This the poses that you see him in is just really awesome. Um, they have a close up pose of him right here. King was one of my like um, one of the the I like the figurine how he was made. I didn't really like so much playing with him all the time, but I really was digging like the figurine. Really awesome, like, like what is this? King, uh, Rage of, I can't read the rest of it, but this is really awesome. Then you see him like palming his his knuckles together. Then you get you see a close up of his face. He got a um, a, a cape, and then oh god, this thing looks awesome. Then you have him with his cheetah uh, cape on. He's just yelling. Really, really awesome. Really cool. Then, um, let's talk about, like, you know what I'm saying, with some, um, let me see, do I have any more Storm Collectible figurines that I want to tomorrow? Oh, yes I do, yes I do, before I get to the next subject. Now, I don't know if this was for real or not, but, um, somebody posted Grandmaster Sub-Zero. I don't know if this figurine is out right now, but I have a feeling it is, but I was just digging the, the poses and, you know, 
I know, I know, like, it, so it's opposed to him right here. I see, you see the ice, like, kind of flirting, uh, floating off of him or whatever. I think, I want to say they made this figurine before, but um, I just like how it looked. It just looked really awesome. The pictures look really awesome. I, I end up taking some screenshots of it. It looks really, really cool. But anyway, get into the next um, set of figurines. McFarlane Toys is coming out with Bang. Once, a, um, of course, you can pre-order these. Um, it's thirty nine ninety nine. And um, you can um, you can pre-order these on McFarland Toys, and I'm sure Walmart and you know Big Bad Toys, you know so so be it. But uh, big, but Bang is looking really really awesome, really huge. Uh, this the the regular Bang pose, and he's looking really really awesome. Then you got uh uh Nec Necron Necron Mega Figurine. I'm not sure where he is from. I want to say um the Batman um. Dark Ages or something like that. I, I want to say that. I, I never saw him before, but I'm digging, like, the hole with the teeth in it or whatever. Or, or it's, it looks like something like that. But it looks, like, creepy but awesome, though. You know what I'm saying? Um, moving on from there, let's talk about some Hasbro Plus news. From the Spider-Man uh, No Way Home, You um, they have a pack, and you can get this on Hasbro Plus. I checked it. It's on there. Uh, you can get the three Spider-Man pack. Not sure how much the how much it is, but um, you can definitely go on Hasbro Plus and definitely go pick up this three pack of all three Spider Mans all together. And um, if you saw the movie, don't want to ruin it for you, but they're all three in the movie. And um, you know, they seem like most of them this come with you know all, um, hands, four alternate hands. That's what they mostly come with. Besides their self, he looks really poseable. My nephew would love this. He's, he he loves Spider-Man. Um, really awesome. But I'm, I love Spider-Man. But this, this these Spider-Man look really, really damn cool. Um, you get Spider-Man from the first movie. Um, another Spider-Man from the newest first movie. And then you get the Avengers Spider-Man, which is really cool. Um, so that's really cool. Then Hasbro uh, let out. Um, the Transformers Anniversary 2000 and what is it 2007 to 2022 this is a how many pack <clears throat> five pack of the Transformer movie line and this is really really cool you got Bumblebee you got uh, Ratchet you got Optimus Prime you got Ironhide and you got Jazz Jazz was the name I used on my first car that I ha that I had and um, I got it off of that movie, and this looks really, really cool. Um, you you know, it's just the same old action figures from the Transformers when they first started making the movie Transformer figurines. And <coughs> sorry, guys, I ended up swallowing my spit. I'm sorry, <laughs> but anyway, guys, I was like, whoa. But anyway, you get Iron High coming out and um that looks really really cool so you can iron high um optimus prime ratchet like i said and jazz you get this five pack i don't even know how much this is when i checked on hasbro plus this one th this was sold out which um i'm sure it'll come back in stock but i mean but it, it was really but really cool one thing i want to talk about too is super seven um let out a pack what is it called this is called box set inspired by the um, Primate of Darkness of G.I. Joe, the real American hero, where the snake eyes and shipwreck along the timber and poly. Okay, so Super 7, as you guys know, make the three inch and quarter. Besides the ultimate figurines, they make the three inch and a quarters, um, a um, reaction figurines. And this thing looks really, really cool. Really, really awesome. It seemed like you got some, you got some some cobra troopers in there you got a cobra robot and then you got um uh, i want to say shipwreck and snake eyes in there and uh they're in there posing as um you know cobra people but this looks really really awesome really cool i'm wondering what, when this is going to become oh it's a san diego comic-con exclusive but i'm sure they'll have it at the stores too so that's really cool and then Super 7 is coming out with a limited edition 7-inch scale action figure ultimate Cobra Bat figurine. So that's coming out. So that's really, so um, that's pretty cool. 
And um, he's all in blue, and I guess a, you want to call that brown or blue and orange. Um, he comes with an alternate head. He comes with uh, two guns, six hands, uh, electricity type of like um, thing. He comes with a backpack. He comes with three stores that come inside of a pack, and he comes with like three different tools. So it's pretty cool. Dan Super 7 has three inch quarter, I guess you want to call these glow in the dark action figurines or something like that. And um, I they're coming out with a lot of like glow in the dark action figures. Super 7 is, <laughs> and um, but it looked pretty cool. You got Cobra Commander, you got a Cobra Trooper, you got um, um, the Baroness, and then up top you got Snake Eyes, then you got a, a Joe Trooper, and then you got Scarlet figurine coming out. So it's pretty cool, pretty cool. Then, since we're talking about glow in the dark, let's see if I know, since we're talking about glow in the dark, they um are starting to do pre-orders for the glow in the dark Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and then we have a pose of Leonardo, and this is looking really really cool. And um, it took, and you know when he comes it comes with he comes with an alternate head, six alternate hands, little turtle communicator, a glow in the dark pizza ooze, and swords. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, guys. So, ba so basically, I just want to talk about some of these new toy figurines that are coming out, and um, this this um really really um liking the king from the um from the storm shadow of uh, storm storm shadow storm collectibles. So anyway, guys, um, get your hands on this. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell button, and I'll be back with more.